This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 9, Looping and Random Numbers, Part 12. Controlling loops with parameters. This time, you will modify one of the lower level functions, draw seagrass. It's lower level because it is, uh, it's being called by another function. You'll see. Notice that the current version of draw seagrass actually uses a loop. We want to modify this function so that we control the number of times it loops with a parameter. Do this. Look at the draw seagrass function to see how it currently works. Add a parameter that will be used to indicate how many how many waves the seagrass makes. And they give us an example of that, right? Comma, make sure to add the comma, and then I'm going to use their name for the parameter num waves. So let's go find the draw seagrass. They're calling it a lower level function in part because it's it's being called by another function, and you don't see it in the main or the top part of the code. It's being called within another function, but draw seagrass. There we are, and so we have radius. Now let's draw. Let's add num waves and so that functions on line 74 for me add a parameter that will be used to indicate yep we got that modify the for loop so that it uses the parameter as the number of times it repeats oh that's super cool so if i put this as num waves that's going to be the number of times it's going to run the loop and that's going to be how many curves are in the grass. Finally, modify draw seagrass to call the new two parameter version of draw seagrass, supplying a reasonable random value for the second parameter as well. Okay. So now I'm going to go up here. Did I miss it? That's the function we're creating. That's our function definition. Uh, oh no, our, and our function, draw all seagrass, great. Now, when we call the function draw seagrass, we need another parameter, boop. Math, gonna drag in another random number. Um, a reasonable, they set theirs to two to 10, so let me check out what that looks like. But ah. Uh, <laughs> I kind of love, notice how many curves it has, and we're still just going to have one at this time, but that's super cool. Awesome. That's great. And so now we have these two parameters. This one, I think, represented the arc, or the radius of each arc, each bend, and this represented the number of those bins. And the way we're making the, this represent the number of curves, it is used as the uh, it is used as the number in the for loop, right? So it's used as the number that's going to limit the amount of times our for loop runs. That's super cool. Let's keep going. 